We've already gone over most of the uh, visual components of the Wheel of Life. Um, first, we, we looked at the three poisons at the center. We looked at the, um, the white and black circle, the um, basically karma, uh, the positive and negative actions, and the white actions leading upward, and the black actions leading downward. Then we looked at the five realms, which um, in the Tibetan tradition became the six realms. Um, now the the fourth uh, sort of component of the of the disc, the the circle of the wheel of life, the outermost ring, is composed of the twelve links of dependent arising, pratitya samutpada, and uh, this is possibly the most uh, profound of the rings. Maybe it's a, it's a choice thing, but it's uh, possibly the most profound. Uh, dependent arising uh, is sometimes explained as a foundation or a cornerstone of, uh, of Buddhist philosophy. So, so this is a very important uh, uh, component. Now, these 12 links uh, are actually described in the source text. Um, but they're also described in a number of other sutras. But in terms of being described with, with a visual uh, form, that's coming out of the root text, which we've talked about at length. So really for, for looking at the art, the most important thing to understand is the 12 links have a visual form that represents uh, the meaning, such as the first one is ignorance, the first of the twelve links, second is dispositions, third is consciousness, uh, fourth is name and form, uh, the fifth is the six senses, and they go on and on, and there's twelve of them. Now, there's not always twelve. Depending on the source text, there could be some added links of dependent arising, but twelve is the most common um, number that's given. Um, so, we have these 12, they, they all have a, a visual um, uh, recognizable form, and for ignorance, what we have is uh, an image of a blind person with a walking stick. For dispositions, we have a potter, and he's using a potter's wheel with clay, making, making a pot out of clay. For consciousness, we have a man picking fruit. For name and form, we have two people, and they're both in a boat on some water, on a body of water. Okay, so each of these 12 has a form, um, and they're recognizable, and they're actually described in the early uh, source text of the Wheel of Life. Now, they're also sequential. That's the most important thing to know right now. The next most important thing to know is if you look at the wheel of life as if it's the face of a clock, then more often than not, the 12 links will start at the 1230 or 1 o'clock position with the blind person with a walking stick, followed uh, clockwise by uh, the potter and the potter's wheel, again by the man picking fruit, and at the uh, 3 34 o'clock will be two people in a boat and then it moves clockwise this is not consistent and it's not required that the 12 links of dependent arising begin at any particular location on the wheel it is also very common to have the first of the 12 links to start at the 630 position so the bottom of the wheel at other times we can find that the the uh, first link, ignorance, starts at the 10.30 or 11.30 mark on the wheel, uh, as if it was a clock face. So, there's really only two things to know here. The 12 links of dependent arising is the outer ring. Uh, each of the 12 links has a visual uh, uh, described image that represents uh, ignorance, dispositions, or consciousness, etc. And these do not have, they go sequentially, but they do not have to start at any particular place 
on the wheel. Uh, if it's a, a, a clock face, it doesn't have to start at 12 or, or 6 or 3 or 9. It really depends on the artist. And if not the artist um, just creating his own way uh, or, or starting at a particular location, then he's copying from another earlier painting and he's just uh, putting the first link where the earlier painting put the first link. So these are the 12 links of Dependent Horizon. Uh, what they all are, you can find on the Himalayan Art Resources website, and there are, uh, there's no end uh, to publications discussing these 12 links. So you can press the uh, like button, you can subscribe, you can comment, and you can also join HAR on Patreon.